All right, we're gonna take a shot at making this recipe again. I did it the last time, turned out good. Jake liked it, which is rare. So here we go for Easter. There we got some beets, cabbage, carrots, onion, garlic, diced tomatoes, beef broth, olive oil, vinegar, salt and pepper, and some stew meat. And let's see. We're gonna do it on the stove in the pot. So I'm gonna do this on and off and then pause it so I can work. Sound like a plan, Stan? Pause. All right, let's start by trimming up this stew meat, getting some of the extra fat off and making sure the chunks are small. Be easier to eat. The last time the chunks were bigger and it was a little bit tougher. Not horrible, but tough. Then it'll go into the pot and get browned. All right, I cut up over half of the meat and trimmed a little bit of the fat off. That's left. This was about three pounds of meat and the recipe says one pound. So I'm a little over, but what the heck, I like meat. Yep, check it out, La Cruze. I am a food snob, tool snob, whatever. Supposed to be the best. That's what America's Test Kitchen says. Although the recipe is Ellie Krieger. So we'll leave that brown for a bit. Hopefully it'll tenderize a little. Like I said, that's more than I'm supposed to have, but that's what we're getting. All right, caught up on the dishes for a bit. Ooh, it's just getting nice and brown. So now I think it's time to chop up the veggies, which I did not do last time, which kind of put me behind the eight ball. So I'm trying to pay attention this time. Onions are in and cooking down. Sadly, my knife skills are not on par for somebody my age, but hey, what can I say? All right, we got carrots, onions, and garlic sort of simmering down, cooking a bit. Next we'll add in the cabbage and the beets, right? Beets. I didn't even know what the hell beets looked like. I had to ask for help to find them the first time. Doing the beets now. We got the beets. We got the beets. Looks like somebody was murdered. Well, that was one large rutabaga, uh, rutabaga, why did I say rutabaga? One large beet, one small, medium-sized beet. Here they are cooking away. That's got some nice colors, eh? Well, anyway, I gotta cut up the cabbage and then add the rest of the stuff, so. And what did I say before about how I was better prepared? Well, I wasn't. I should have had all this stuff chopped up and then started cutting up the meat and making it. And that's what I meant to do last, this time because I screwed it up last time. But everything seems to be coming together cool, so I ain't too worried. It'll turn out and it'll taste good. And I remembered to bring some sour, sour cream to uh, put a dollop on this time. All right, now we got the cabbage in. So now we add the meat back in, which has been set aside in a bowl, waiting along with the liquid. And then we add these guys, and a, like a little bit of vinegar goes in at the very end. Last time I messed that up and put it in too soon, but. So we gotta add the broth, some water, and the tomatoes back into this. And then we're getting there. Then I think we simmer it for a while. I wonder if I took a picture of the clock when I started. Well, here it is, finished up. I just gotta bring it up to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer for like an hour or so. Partially covered, so. I don't know, maybe I'll take a picture when it's done, but either way, I just do these videos by pausing in between, so I'm gonna stop it now rather than murder the battery on the old phone. Anyway, um, either way, last time it tasted great, so it should taste great this time also. Ellie Krieger, borscht, or vegetable soup, I forget. I'll hang the recipe here right next to this on, when I post it. See you, bye.